Mike Tyson, 30 years your elder, and say that this has nothing to do with you obtaining the belt. What would be your answer to them of why this is important? It does. Big moments, big pressure, big stages. One of the greatest to ever do it. More experience than me, more fights than me. I'm going to learn a lot in this fight through this training camp. So this is helping me in my future fights and everything that I want to accomplish. Listen, I, I'm not getting in the ring with either one of you. I've watched this man train. I've seen Mike Tyson get the mix. It should be criminally illegal for him to punch folks like this. When you watch that, what happens when Jake Paul gets in trouble or gets a real life killer? I, I think he's a mitt warrior. The Instagram videos are cute, but we'll see what happens in the ring on November 15th at the end of the day. We'll see if he still got it. When he tells you or when he says he, you're a mitt warrior, right? And this is a guy who's never fought someone like you, a guy who hasn't had the accolades that you've attained. What is your answer to him saying, you can do it when no one's hitting you, but like you said, everybody has a plan until they get punched in the face. What's your plan when you step into the ring with him? <laughs> are long and punishing. Are long and painful, right? Hey, long and painful don't sound good either. Either way, what we want to see is we want to see two men that enter the ring not trying to allow this thing to go to decision. I am not using my Netflix subscription to watch some judges decide who are the baddest of these two dudes. He says he's gonna knock out a legend, and Mike Tyson said he's gonna fuck him up. That's what I'm tuning in for. Okay, now I'm gonna take some media questions. Yeah. Now Jake, why you fixed? <laughs> hey guys, let's just try to be respectful here, please. You know, just please. So obviously you were pulled out of this fight by the doctors. When when do you get back to the camp and what is the medical update? What have the doctors told you about Satan? Well, I'm, I'm beautiful and I'm tra I've been training for a while, like two weeks, three weeks. Well, he's asking when you get in camp. I'm okay to fight. But when you get in camp? Like I'm, in, I'm in camp right now. Very good, thank you. I'm in camp right now. Thank you. Mike Tyson, oh, thank you. Uh, Floyd, and Marvin Hagler. Jason Brown, the post EOB WNA. This is for Mike. I cover all your fights from Atlantic City. Are we going to see the Atlantic City that you showed back in the 90s on November 17th? Hey, listen. As soon as I catch this guy, he's going to be running around. But as soon as I catch this guy, it's going to be totally over. Yeah. Is, is, is your plan to run? Oh, he's going to, he's going to run like a thief. Nah, we can we can meet in the middle. Oh, that's what I want. Let's meet in the middle. I love you. I'm bucking out. Let's go. We'll see. Oh, uh, we will see, buddy. Hey, well you heard it here. Jake said they'll meet in the middle of the ring, and if they meet in the middle of the ring, Mike Tyson says the fight's over in one round. And now, 
Let's take an exclusive look to this once in a lifetime event on November 15th, streaming on Netflix. Stream it, baby.